Hi everybody, John Caterba here, aka Johnny Lightning, and also my old nickname, Oop. Anyway, uh, I'm here with Lightning, and I wanted to tell you a few things about my van. She is a 1983 Dodge. I bought her new in 83. I purchased her for $9,800 at Massey Yardley Dodge in Delray Beach, Florida. I completely customized her inside and out by myself. Initially, I didn't build her for shows. I built her mainly for camping, traveling, which we did a lot of in the past 25 years. She has 260,000 miles on her. She's been through 36 states, California, Texas, and Canada. She's also been back and forth to Pennsylvania about 30 times to my old hometown. Since I bought her 26 years ago, she's always looked the way you see her now. Lightning has won 37 first place trophies. With her being outside her whole life, I don't have a garage, so she's always been outside. A few years ago, the rust finally started coming through, so we, Joe and I thought we need to take her to a restoration shop and work on the rust and get her painted. Well, when we got there and they looked at the van, they, they told us that we needed to take everything out of the interior because if we didn't, it was all going to burn because with them using cutting torches and welding and all that on the on the body that the inside would catch on fire so we had to strip everything out of lightning. While in the shop we had to mold in all the effects the front spoiler, the wheel flares, the wiper cowl, the visor, the mirror shrouds. We wanted them to mold everything in because the first time that I had everything on there they were held on with screws and that's what started a lot of my rust problems. All of my vans have had a sunroof in the front and I've always had a vent in the back above the bed. Okay, so here's the back of Lightning. Uh, she has a 36 gallon gas tank which is covered by a belly pan. That also is molded in. We also have a trailer hitch for our nitro fishing boat. Joe and I like to bass fish. When we got Lightning back from the shop, Joe and I wanted to put everything back inside the interior the way it was before. So, of course, we used all new material. We rebuilt everything exactly the same way and put everything back in. The only difference is, before I used to have a 9-inch TV at the foot of the bed on a little stand. Now we have the 22-inch LCD flat screen mounted on the wall. We really like it. It pulls out, we can turn it toward the front, so when we're sitting up in the front, we can watch a DVD or TV or whatever we like. And then when, whenever we're in, back in the bed, we can push it against the wall and watch it in bed. And whenever we're camping and we have the back doors open, all we have to do is pull it out and turn it toward the back. And we can sit in there and watch TV or a DVD. Most of the ideas from Lightning has come from other vans that I've seen at different shows and truck-ins. Uh, the Van Fest, if you remember, that were popular in the 70s and 80s. And everyone asked me about my octagonal wooden steering wheel. I bought that at Van Fest in 1983. Unfortunately, you can't find them anymore. Lightning has two refrigerators. We always say one for beer and one for food. All, we also have cabinet space and the microwave. The microwave and the TV run off an inverter when we're on the road, but whenever we go to a campground, we plug into the electric and it runs all the electricity in the van. There is also a full-length plexiglass mirror above the bed. Now for the back doors, on the passenger side, we made a little change. Before, I used to have tools back there, which you would get extra points for when you were at a show. Now we have the bar instead. There's a little note in there that says break glass in case of emergency. On the other back door we have the emergency kit and a fire extinguisher. There are also fire extinguishers behind the driver's seat and there's also one under the bed. 
And my darling Joe here is going to show you how we've utilized all the space in the side doors here. We have the, all of our cleaning fluids, cleaning material. And then on the other side, in the other door, we have all of the extra fluids for the van, the transmission fluid, oil, power steering fluid, and such. Well, after a year and a half of refurbishing Lightning, we're glad to get her back on the road, and we look forward to putting another 260,000 miles on her. You know, one of the nicest things whenever we go to a show or someone sees me somewhere in my van is they're always telling me about how they had a van or they, their parents had a van or, and they used to travel and do things. Well, let me tell you, vanning is not dead. There's still the Florida Van Council. Also, we have the Gold Coast Van Club here in West Palm Beach. And all over the United States, there are still van clubs. And this year, which is 2009, in July, we have the Van Nationals that are held every year. This year, they're going to be in Pennsylvania. So check it out on the web.